there obviously for a right-handed quarterback if he was going to his left a little bit tougher exactly feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet they're gonna go for it on four check check Fresno Fresno go go Mike, number 52. Lock in, lock in. Rip left, rip up. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. And my goodness, this is incomplete. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Eagles' defense able to hold. Now a second timeout called for Let's by go. the defense. And that's going to leave them with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. We'll be back. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. At the 41 yard line. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. Well, you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Here we go. Back back. Please find seven. We're cool. Pick your game up. This is us. Now this time he'll look to throw. Aguilar has it. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now at Soldier Field. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. First and ten, it's Clement. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. The all-pro in two positions. Khalil Mack there to make the stop. At the 46-yard line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. I can't believe they even let you play. Ram, ram, ram. Shotgun snap and they'll give to Sanders. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Another run with Sanders. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. It's a pickup of four, but they're still a yard short here with fourth down, fourth coming. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. So that will leave them with no timeouts left. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how that affects things here in this fourth quarter. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Going for it with Sanders. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. First down, Philadelphia. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Check 13. Check 13. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he'll get a little over 
or two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll run with Sanders. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along and control the clock and control the ball. And that way you often control the game. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Here's Sanders. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. second and two at the 14-yard line. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Now a carry for Sanders. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeout. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Sanders with time running out and they have taken the lead here in the final minute how many people are watching this one right here gave up because that score they might want to try and rush back into this stadium <laughs> yeah. what looks like is going to be the game deciding score although a little bit of time left so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched well they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I we're not going anywhere we want to see this one play out this will be fielded on the back line of the end zone and he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, 
you've got to worry on defense. Of course, hey, no one getting anyone. behind the defense and making an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short of yep. the end zone who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation. We'll see if they can cover all their bases. He's going to let it fly. And got his man complete. And all the way down to the 36-yard line. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Soldier Field.